Welcome back. So, Nightwing is dead. The focal point of the episode is Harley getting reprimanded by Dick Grayson, Aka. Nightwing, despite Batman and Batgirl's endorsement of her, he doesn't believe she will ever fit in with their group. Dick even throws away her friendship bracelets while disremembering that she underwent eye surgery to enhance her vision and help the squad. Surprisingly, Dick is wearing the bracelet when Harley and Barbara relax at a snowy chalet and spot him there. He sadly falls stiff as a board into the fire. As they learn Nightwing has been killed, the females are left yelling. It starts a mystery that will undoubtedly require Harley to direct the inquiry, making her look like the Dark Knight as a detective. Even though Nightwing was rude to Harley, he wasn't deserving of such a horrific end because all he wanted was to safeguard Gotham while Bruce was in jail. The most awful moment to lose a crew member is right now. The Bat family has felt stymied since Talia Al Ghul took their money, despite the fact that there are several enemies in Gotham who need to be subdued. When Dick passes away, the team is significantly weakened. Harley will not have the supporters she needs to convince the caped crusader that she can take Alfred's place because Alfred is also behind bars. If they begin to believe Harley is a suspect, that might shock the squad even more. Harley has been sabotaging the team, sleepwalking, and suppressing memories. While Poison Ivy collaborates on terrorist plots with Talia, Steppenworld, and Lex Luthor, Poison Ivy begins to question if it's a result of her stifling her wicked nature even further. Given that Dick had bullied her when he came to see them at the cottage, she might have unleashed her dark side and killed him. After all, he did believe Barbara was being held captive, so it makes logical he followed them there only for Dark Harley to murder him. This would create a brand new, terrifying storyline with her psyche going amok, providing the squad with both a cerebral and a physical challenge. If Harley is the murderer, one must primarily ponder how Ivy will react, whether she will want Harley to join her, and the way Harley will handle the guilt and sins. However, Harley still has a challenging task. She needs to solve the mystery and provide the Bat family with closure after losing such a dependable leader, whether or not she is the murderer. One can only hope that season 4 doesn't turn Harley into this unintentional monster because that would undermine the redemption she has long sought. See you eventually on another engrossing review. I hope the video is enjoyable. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.